though, it's a drying circuit, the lights go to green, away they go, Mark Burton from pole position, then rockets away, down towards the top corner for the first time, heading there, down under the footbridge, into Cops corner, we're on board with David Gibson, not a very good start, I'm afraid, losing paces there, Neil Gordon to the right of us, making his way down towards Cops, but it's Mark Burton in the lead, Michael Cullen in second place, Mark Burton getting a bit sideways though, round comes to the back of it, as he held it, yes, no, yes, no, it goes left, it goes right, it goes left, it goes right, it's still got the pendulum effect, Round it goes, Mark Burton spins in the middle of the pack, are they now all going to miss him, they spear left, they go right, they've all missed him, no! That was Keith Chapman who rockets into the back of the car. And there we see Mark Burton's damaged car, and here's a replay of uh, the incident, you can see he came through cops, lost it uh, uh, a little bit, coming off cops uh, on cold rear tyres, and he's fighting it all the way, and it's just getting into a bigger and bigger tank slap, and finally it goes. And in a front wheel drive car, it's very, very difficult to control, because obviously the front tyres are slightly warmer than the rear at this point, and uh, you nearly, really need to get on the gas to recover, and obviously, in this case, he just lost out. And Keith Chapman thought there was a gap there, I'll go for it, and suddenly realised why there was a gap. Ploughs into the back of Hart Burton's car, a sad way to end the TV trophy, two very badly damaged Fiestas.